my name is Wanjiro Koinange. I am a co-founder at Bookbank and for this particular project I am in charge of um, the financial administration and making sure we hit all of our targets. Hi, my name is uh, Chao Tayana Maina. I'm a digital heritage specialist. A lot of my work looks at the intersection of culture and technology. On this project, I am the digitization advisor. I will be conducting training on digitization as well as coming up with a digital archiving plan. We have partnered with African Digital Heritage, um, the lovely Chao Maina, to teach us about digitization work. Today we're, we're getting a workshop going on, so we're determining how to scan the actual collections and what to do with the files after. And the goal is to then be able to make this content available publicly via the library to whoever needs to use it. At the moment, digitization is continuing at Macmillan. And that digitization will like people to access it online from where you are, at the comfort of your house. So this morning uh, we were doing an introduction to digitization, basically looking at digitization as a process, um, not necessarily an end, but actually the beginning of quite a long process in dissemination, archiving, preservation, maintenance, um, just to give the, the interns and the library staff an awareness that digitization is a continuing work. And um, the other thing we were doing was also trying to quantify the collection in essence, um, very deliberately planning the project, um, the size of the collection, understanding how much time it will take, so that when, once we start, we have a more streamlined workflow. We are doing this at the moment because we realize um, as we're doing the work that there was no digital record of the, of the works that are in this library, some of them very old, some of them very precious. Um, so we started by cataloging everything that's in the library and then the second step which is beginning um, this week has been to digitize all of the, the material that is the most at risk of damage um, because of climate change. So we'll have four workstations um, and each workstation will have um, two interns uh, from the library doing the digitization. After they take the photographs, one of the interns will check the quality to see if the quality of the images are all right. Um, once a quality check has happened, they will then proceed to process the images, so rename the files, um, contextualize them and um, add appropriate metadata to the images just for, for them to be accessible but also discoverable. And after that, uh, the files will be archived and the archives will be backed up. The most surprising thing so far is that we've always kind of known that we have a vast variety of content and material. I think actually seeing it and counting it and being able to, to see what, how far back the collection actually goes has been shocking. It kind of moved away from the anecdotal to the actual factual. Um, this number of items are being digitized. It's been really, really surprising to see the actual mass of, of work, um, but not intimidating at all. No, not at all. One of the main challenges is the sheer size of the volume. Um, there's different types of records, uh, many of which are fragile, some are actually um, not together in terms of uh, they're not concurrent, uh, but also the records are quite, quite bulky in terms of the pages and the number of volumes that are there. So mostly the size of the collection. Secondly, maybe things like lighting and environment, but those are things that we can control. And we're just looking forward to seeing um, what happens as we move along. The challenging bit has been finding a process and we're still figuring it out, but um, we have had nothing that's completely unsolvable yet. Um, knock on wood that we don't have anything happen yet. We did a lot of consultation before. We started even applying for funds for the digitization, so we spoke to the Glasgow Women's Library who had to do exactly what we're doing in Glasgow when, they're, when they were moving into a new building. And that really taught us simple things like what kind of envelopes do you need and what kind of paper do you need to store photographs in. We have brought in experts from the city as well, so climate change experts and digitization experts. But in terms of the library scope, every time Washuka and I travel, we try and see how libraries in other parts of the world have worked and what they've done in this scope. <music>